the way Sony does things, I think is just gonna be like a remake of the Sony A7C. When I say remake, I mean we're gonna have the flippy screen, the better view finding with the touch screen on it, and just add everything that we wanted to be the A7C, they're gonna add it to the A7 IV. That's my predictions for the A7 IV. I just don't see any big rumors. I see the only thing I see is the 7K, they don't sample the 4K, but I mean, these Sony cameras are already crispy enough as it is. Like, it's already super sharp for it to even be any more sharper than that. Um, that'll probably work more towards like the 1080p or, or, or cropping in. Um, the 33 megapixels, I mean, it doesn't really make a difference to me. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a seller for me. I, I, I do more video, and even if I did photography, more photography, the 33, 24, they're both great. So, I mean, you're still gonna be able to crop in what you need. The video specs is what's more important in this camera. The 33 megapixel, um, 24, 33, you know, 10 megapixel, nine megapixels more, I don't know. If it's gonna make the camera be a better video camera, then by all means, let's get some megapixels and throw them in there. But if it's not, 24 was perfectly fine. The main, main, main focus of this new camera coming out is gonna be the video focus. Like, what are they gonna do for people using this camera for a hybrid, which is video and pictures. Some pictures, more video. So what are they gonna do? What's gonna come in this camera? So we need, we need to see the 10-bit. I think the 10-bit is gonna make it or break it for me on this camera. I wanna be able to match this camera to my A7S III, and I just love the way the 7S III works. I love the workflow on it. I just love the way, you know, the colors come out on it. Everything's already set. I love the menu, the touchscreen, the new menu. Like, this is, this is the future for Sony, this camera right here. That's A7S III, and you can put megapixels, take megapixels, whatever you wanna do, but this camera, it has a great body on it, big body, big grip. You know, it's, it just feels sturdy and it's just, the touch screen on it is amazing. Um, keep this body going and just build off of it. I would rather spend the money on the A7R4 if I shoot more pictures or the A7S3 if I do more videos. I wouldn't go midway 2500 when I can go either way and get more for what I do. Now, if you're just a YouTuber and you're just making YouTubes and you're just doing, you know, your own thing with it, you're doing home videos or you're doing, you're trying to start off. I still don't think 2500 is a good way to start off. Like the A6600 is a good starting camera. The ZV-1 is a good camera. The, um, the A7C is a good camera. And the market is gonna be flooded with A7 III cameras. And that's a banging camera too. Like that's a good camera. If you can find it for 15, uh, 1200, like once I once the A7 uh, 4 comes out, that camera's gonna be like all over the internet. So if you can find that for cheap, I would say that's the better buy than spending 2,500 on a mid-range camera that doesn't do video the best and doesn't do photos the best. You know what I'm saying? If, and if you want either one of those routes, you know, go A7S 3 or go A7 A7 R4 because it's only a couple hundred dollars away. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you got 2,500, then you got that little bit of extra money to spend on that, you know? Um, and that's just my opinion. Like, I don't see the A7 IV being that glorified unless, unless if they come out with it and it has 4K 60 and it has 10 bit, then it is the best camera that you can buy mid-range if listen to me if they come out with it and this camera has 4k 60 and 4k 10 bit 422 or 420 10 bit then it's the best camera you can buy but i don't think they're gonna do that i don't i don't see any mentions at all any hype about that at all i don't think they're gonna put 10 bit in this camera they're gonna keep on going with the 8 bit and the 4k 60 to me um I don't know. I don't. I'm. I. I. I really prefer the 10 bit over the 4K 60. To be honest, uh, I think having that flexibility in the colors and just getting better colors uh, is more important than than slowing it down. I mean, if it's gonna be a 
7K down sample of 4K. I can just imagine how the 1080p is gonna be too. So the 1080p is probably gonna be sharper than than what we've seen in the A7 III. So as far as sharpness goes, I, I would say I'd rather have the, the 4. I can just picture them with a new sensor having a better 1080p. And I think 1080p in, this, in, in all these Sony new Sony cameras is freaking is crazy. It, it, it looks like 4K to me. Like if you're not zooming in, it looks like 4K. Like you would only use it only if you are, you know, trying to crop in and get a different feel. But uh, I don't, 1080p is just fine, man. 1080p, I got the Sony a7S III and I shoot a lot of my stuff on 1080p. But, Sony, please give us some more information. I know this is dropping on the 28th, but please give us some more information. Don't make us wait till the end of the month to find out what the heck is gonna be in this camera. I mean, you guys already leaked out everything, so just give us the full specs on it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. And just in case you guys wanted to know, um, this lens that I'm using is the cheap Nifty 50 from Sony. I think it's like 200 bucks brand new so the 1.8 nifty 50 that everybody says that hunts and makes a tons of noise and all this other stuff i haven't even heard the thing move since i've been talking it so for talking heads like this the 50 millimeter is great and if you have an a7s3 this thing is 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 pretty good and if you're on a budget or you just want to you know 51.8 and you got other 2.8 lens and you just want that 51.8 for low light this thing right here is great on the Sony A7S III. You crank up the sensitivity, you crank up the uh, the focus on this thing and the, and the response to it, and this thing catches focus. Like I said, I'm using it right now, and it's catching focus. Coming in out of frame. I'm not in manual focus either, so. This is autofocus, and again, on the Nifty 50 cheap $200 lens. So. 200 bucks and it gets focus 1.8 good lens if you want i'll do a review on that and i'll show you how that works because it's actually it's pretty good lens all right peace out